The beat go off? Feel like I'm Goku. Yo, what up, guys? It's your boy, Sun TJ here. Um, today's a double upload, so if you missed my Boruto manga chapter review... Okay. So I'm back after being scared the crap out of because someone knocked on my door to deliver my mail. But anyway, uh, today I'm here to review Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter 51. Um, I don't review every chapter because not every chapter interests me, but this chapter had uh, three major things that was pretty, pretty good about it. Um, I don't know if the I don't know Toratar is gonna land the going land these concepts right, but they're pretty interesting. So one is that Vegeta met the Yardrats, and Yardrats' ability come from the soul, or soul is is still key. It's like another example of key, along with like Genki or something like that. Like how Genki is like is like something like the spirit bomb, like you know it's more spiritual, and this is like soul type thing is a it's a different concept the key which is how goku uses his transmission and how yard dress are able to make clones or make their bodies bigger so it's kind of saying that vegeta might not only might might not learn this transmission but he, learn, he might learn something else from the yard rats because he might his soul might be different than goku's and yeah that's something there then you have piccolo dealing with like the little bounty like dealing with the bounty of moros like moral soldiers dealing with like the weaker soldiers then you have Goku chain with Mirus, and Mirus having the ability to use Ultra Instinct or knowing about it. And it seems like in Toro manga, almost everyone has the ability to use Ultra Instinct along with Hiroshi. <laughs> so, let's talk about this, man. So, the chapter overall, um, I, I like the pacing. The pacing was pretty good. I didn't feel any um, parts of the manga that I was kind of getting bored, whatnot. It has some like funny moments where like every yard rat kept on thinking that the um, Vegeta was the um, was the little patrolman the patrolman that Vegeta was with. Everyone kept on thinking that patrolman was Vegeta, so that was pretty funny. Um, Piccolo being kind of tricked a little bit was kind of interesting because Piccolo's always known as being the smart one. What kind of irritates me though is that I don't really like how I don't really like how um, like Gohan is never mentioned here because Gohan in this in this manga universe is like the strongest he's ever been, and like they always ignore Gohan for Piccolo like every freaking time. And I get it, he's with his family, but like if you want someone like you know to save the universe, you should probably pick your third strongest guy at least in this like universe where like Gohan could take on like Kefla, <laughs> like you know what I mean. So yeah, that's kind of um, kind of um, annoying there. Um, the thing that could be annoying is Mirus because Mirus has pretty much been saying that he's been holding back this entire time and since Goku and him are going to train in like a, a like a weaker Hobart time chamber because it seems like it only gives you three days for a day compared to like like with the uh, the Hobart time chamber in you know the main the main one that the series uses it gives you like a year so that's kind of interesting there but so it could be seen as BS that he doesn't use his full power against Moro, you know what I mean? Um, and him like knowing Ultra Instinct and him be able to teach it better than Whis. So maybe he has a connection with the angels or just sometimes you need some a better master. Like just because like for example your master is like Mayweather or whatever doesn't mean that you're going to get the same thing out of him as someone that you learn from like someone else who's not as good as Mayweather but is better at teaching. So. Just what I'm saying there that might, you know, make that make that make sense. Cause look, again, I am far from a drama super manga apologist, okay? Like as this drama super manga apologist will make everything about how good the manga's better than the end. I remember when I talked about how like Ultra Instinct Goku is weaker than um, Jiren in the manga, and they told me, well, it makes more sense because it's not a power up like the stupid anime. So again, I'm not one of those guys, and I've had videos talking about how I don't like a lot of things that Toratara does in the manga. And the reason I haven't really talked about it because to not Toei, but Shueisha was giving out copyright strikes, so I kind of took a break from that. So hopefully, they don't do it here. But yeah, um, we had like some little Easter eggs from Bulma coming in, talking about how like you know they want Piccolo to be in there. I like Bulma's new design. Um, a Piccolo was doing his thing there. There was a little, it was like a little editing error where like one of the little. Um, <laughs> one of the little soldiers that Moro has ended up having Piccolo's arm for one scene. Then you see later Piccolo uses his arms as like the same arm where that soldier did not have the same arm as him. So that was, that's what kind of happened there. So Piccolo had a little bit of fighting, but nothing too over the top. 
It's just kind of setting up like Vegeta learning either in transmission or like the clone technique or sometimes it's some type of technique from the yard rats because the yard is not that strong but they have interesting techniques. Then you have Goku um, learning Ultra Instinct again, which is kind of weird because in the anime it's kind of confirmed that he needs help learning Ultra Instinct. But in the manga it was kind of weird because he, he kind of went into Ultra Instinct automatically. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? When he fought Jiren in the last battle. But in this they kind of compare it to Super Saiyan. And it was interesting because Goku says that Super Saiyan is triggered by anger. Where later on it's kind of confirmed that maybe Goku meant only for him is a trigger for anger. Because we learned later on that different Saiyans have different triggers for it. Like because for example Goten and Trunks. They're just kind of natural at it. There's no real anger towards it. So maybe for Goku the trigger is anger. But Mirror's comments that Ultra Instinct is kind of like a Super Saiyan transformation. But the exact opposite. It's like it's when your emotions get shocked, but you stay calm. That's how you unlock Ultra Instinct. At least that's what's confirmed here. So, do I like the chapter? Yes. Do I think the pacing is the best? No, but I think it's good. Um, do I think the storytelling is, is a step up? Yes. Um, is the world building like pretty good? Yeah. Um, do I think the concepts of what Torotaro is laying out is going to work out? Very iffy. This whole Mirus is holding back and now he can unleash his ability in this weird Hobbok time chamber. A little convenient. Um, Vegeta meeting the Yardras and Yardras are talking about a new form of key, which is the spirit. <laughs> and that's the reason why they have these different techniques. Cool idea. Doesn't make sense. I'll wait and see. Um, Piccolo being tricked that easily by the um, by those soldiers. I thought it was funny, but I, I can see a lot of criticism with it. Um, I'll say the chapter is a 7 out of 10. It's not perfect, you know what I mean? It has its, it has its flaws, but um, I'm really hoping this ultra sick thing works out because I feel like that might be the key to beating Moro, even though, I like again, people are going to use that as like like plot armor Goku because people either really love Ultra Instinct or hate it or, you know, or always say like Ultra Instinct Sign is better than Ultra Instinct Mastered or something like that, so... Um, really excited for the future of the drama super manga. Um, really hoping the anime adapts this and probably, you know, expand upon it a little bit better because Toriyama can't put everything in these monthly chapters. Uh, let me know, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I don't know if my, commu my, my community either hates the manga or likes it or whatever. I will always throw jabs no matter what side I'm on because I don't like to be the person that I must, like, you know, like, f like one side with everything. I don't always gotta love the manga. I don't always gotta hate the manga. Um... I'll try my best to uh, upload more videos consistently. If you ever seen the last video I made, I talked about how I can't do daily uploads because um, a lot of my mother's anniversary of passing stuff is coming up. I have depression. I run a college track and like I have college. So daily upload thing is not my thing. But I try to upload around three times a week. Um, try to put more videos, record more videos during the weekend so I can have more videos scheduled so it can be easier on me. Um, hope you guys can respect that. I'm a human being and I try my best and I'm a hard worker. So don't think I'm slacking. It's just I'm a human being. Um, more green screen videos should be coming soon. I should do a top 10 current strong, um, strongest drama super manga characters pretty soon. So look forward to that. And yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the double, double upload. So yeah, Sunset Peace. Love you all.